Hello friends, I am Vikas Khadamode. Today, I will tell you how to digitize in ArcGIS or how to create point, line and polygon shape. For that, we will open our ArcMap 10.3. It's very simple and very easy to digitize in ArcGIS. It's very user-friendly software. So, when we'll click on our map, this kind of window will open. So I will close it. I will go to our data option is here. And also catalog option is here. You can take our data from here also and here also. So I'm adding my data. This is my geo reference image or geo reference topo sheet. So this is you can able to see in degree decimal. So this is mostly geo reference images there. You can able to see I will keep here my arrow. So 75 degree, you can able to see here 75 degree 30 minutes is showing mostly. So this is our geo reference image. On geo reference image, now where I am going to create point line and polygon shape. For that, you can create a new folder or also whatever folder you want to choose you can choose there you can create your folder like i will create here only so first i will right click and then i will go to new and shape file option is there so press on shape file name like I have to create here point line and polygon shape file. So first we'll create point shape file. For point shape files, suppose I will settlement settlement area I want to show by my by point feature. So I will give name here as a settlement then point and this unknown coordinate system is there so this unknown coordinate system we have to define so we can give utm zone here so 75 degree so it will come our project coordinate system will uh, project coordinate system then utm zone then wgs 1984 in the northern hemisphere will select 43 UTM zone. Press OK. Now we'll press again OK. So after that, you can able to see one file is added, this settlement. Again, we can right click, then new shape file. Now this time I want to digitize some line feature. So uh, river if I want to digitize. So I will write here as a river. Here I will choose a polyline. Again, edit project corner system, UTM zone, WS 1984, Northern Hemisphere, and UTM zone 43. Okay. Press OK. Now I have created point shape file, line shape file. Now I'll create polygon shape file. So new shape file, polygon, I will choose here. So I have to digitize lake. Then again edit project content system, UTM. WGS 1984, Northern Hemisphere, and UTM Zone 43. OK. Again, OK. So now you can able to see here three files is, I will refresh it. So river, settlement, and lake, these three files is now added here. So if I want to digitize now, I will right click here 
and I will go to editor option. Okay, we have to start editor. When I will click on editor, that time it will show here and editor start editing. First, if I will select my point feature as a settlement area, I will continue. After that, if this kind of window will not open here, you can that time if it's not showing here, you can take from here also. Create feature option is there. So create feature. Now settlement area, I will click and suppose this is my settlement area. I will click here. This is my settlement area. For example, I'm showing that. So this is settlement area. This one is settlement area. So like that you can select whatever your settlement area is there that you can show by point feature. After that, go to editor, save it and stop it. Again, if you want to digitize line feature, go to start, select river and continue. So you can choose river from here and now you can digitize river. I'm just roughly showing you like that you can digitize your river. I'm just showing here, so I will close here only. Then I will again go to save edit and stop edit. Now, if I want to digitize polygon area, then I will press start editor, then lake continue. So you can take lake from here and you can digitize this lake. Again, you can digitize this lake also. Save it, stop it. After that, I will remove this topo sheet from background. You can able to see whatever the feature we have digitized so if we want to give name to it okay if i want to give some name to this settlement area so i will go to settlement uh, before that uh, um, Settlement area, there is a open attribute table option is there. So open attribute table, then add field option is there, add field. So give name here as a settlement, settlements. So settlement is our text feature. Then OK. Specify field name settlement is invalid because it is too long. Due to what automatically it renamed to field settlements. OK, no problem. So settlement is showing here. Now, if you will press here, so it will show in green color. So now you can able to add this name here. For that you have to again start editor. Continue, no problem. Here you can give.
Dudana. Again, saved it and stopped it. If you want to, whenever you will add field, that time you have to see that your editor is off. Again, in lake, open attribute table. This lake is here. So I will add field. Lake. Any text feature you can select. Okay. Or whatever then, if you want to write here, which lake or particular lake name is, you can able to add here by starting editor. Okay. You can give name of a lake. Again, saved it and stopped it. Like that, you can also take for a river, which river it is. So this is very easy and simple in RJS to digitize. So this is the basic digitization I have shown you. Thank you for watching.